Hey, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about a question we get asked, well, actually quite often. And it is, and they're like, George, what does buying a listing mean? Does that mean that the listing agent, they're going to buy my house? And the answer to that is no. What it means is that the, the listing agent, the person interviewing with you, is going to give you a price that you really like. And what that means is they're going to come in and say, hey, you know what? Based on answering the questions that you have, here's where I think your value is. And that value historically is always higher than what a market will drive. And that is a super important thing because you see their goal, their goal is to get you to list with them because once they have you under contract and they're like, hey, we start marketing your house, they have you hooked. And then unfortunately, there's a few things that happen. The first one is, you can see from some of these examples, let me blow this up, let's take a look at the middle one. So they said, listen, you know, look, uh, they originally listed at 1.5. And you're like, hey, I love that number, 1.5 million. Ugh, I love that number, that's my house. And then you realize, oh my gosh, we're reducing it. And we have to reduce it again. Oh, the buyers, you know, they make excuses for the market and they do, they try and give reasons as to why, you know, all oh, the market shift or, you know, hey, you know, it's about this about your house or it's about that about your house, which could be anything correct on those lines. But here's the funny thing. It gets down to a price completely different than what they originally told you. That's called buying a listing. They keep you hooked and they keep you hooked because then what happens, right? you get frustrated. And as you can see here, you know, they're going to either, you know, beat you down on price to get you down where market value is, or you're going to cancel the listing, right? Or you're going to say, no, 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 enough is enough. And then, you know, you get a little upset, you know, with some of the lesser agents in the industry, because this is a tactic that many of them that do not have negotiation skills, this is what they do. This is how they attract that business by giving you a really good feel good number that is probably, well, in many circumstances, not even accurate. So here's the thing you need to ask yourself. If the average agent who only puts homes in the MLS doesn't do any marketing, but does the four P's, they put up a sign, they put a key box up, they put it in the MLS and then they pray it sells, right? And when that doesn't happen, well, then they start asking for price reductions and giving you all kinds of excuses why that is happening versus letting you understand that buyers are makers of the market. Buyers clearly tell us what the value of any one object is. It doesn't matter if it's a house, your car, your food, your clothes. We've all experienced it. We look at something, we say, hey, that's a great value. In fact, I'm going to tell my friends, hey, you need to go out and buy this, right? Or you look at it and you say, oh, yeah, no, that's too high, right? That's that go or no-go decision because price is also the first impression that buyers have of your home. Keep that in mind. And so as we are taking that, we are sellers, we take what the buyers are willing to offer or not. That's a business decision. Okay, but the seller does not create value. Buyers create value, and that is a super important message. Because understand, good agents are not cheap, and cheap agents, <laughs> they're not good. Keep that in mind. So if you're getting a little bit of disparity between what other agents are saying, or including ourselves based on true metrics, you might want to be careful. Because again, a good agent, they're not cheap. Cheap agents. They're not good. Keep that in mind. In the meantime, if you have any questions, let us know. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.